does she have to know everything? You're not like Melissa's usual boyfriends. How am I unusual? I actually like you. That's what's unusual. Dr. Wren. <laughs> Sendo tune. Do you know what you just said to me? I think so. Uh, up yours? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I appreciate beauty. Look, I know I made a bloody mess of it. And I'm sorry for putting you in the middle of it. But perhaps my real mistake was falling for the wrong sister. I was telling the truth. About wishing I'd met you first. Hello, Spencer. Hi. Uh, may I come in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I can't imagine you operating any sort of heavy machinery. Yeah, me neither. I made that up, but I did get you to smile. I know this is incredibly inappropriate for me to say, but I'm desperate to kiss you. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm sure you're right. I say this is fate, bumping into you here like this. <laughs> you do work next door. And I live a few blocks down the road, so I wouldn't really call it fate. That Dr. Phil wouldn't even take us on. Hey, my family. It's <laughs> okay. Aristotle is exactly where he should be. Spencer? Yes. Are you pissed? Pissed? Snockered. <laughs> I'm snockered. Drunk. <laughs> so weird. I am <laughs> smashed. What? Are you really into me? Yeah. Very much so. And that's why I can't. Not like this. Join you. No. I think that part of me hoped that with Toby out of the picture, that I finally stood a chance. But it was wrong of me to try and swoop in so quickly. I let feelings cloud my judgment. And I'm sorry. Thanks. Ren, wait. It may have been about Mona, but something good came out of it. It was nice being with you. 
I'm glad I'm not the only one of us who thought so. Do you fancy taking down the stab at dinner? Anywhere but Lewisburg. <laughs> it's probably still there. I hate to cut the night short, but I promised a colleague I'd cover a shift for him. Oh, go. No, save some lives. <laughs> I had a lovely night. Yeah, I did too. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>